In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. Absalom unexpectedly came up against David's servants. He was mounted on a mule, and as the mule passed under the branches of a large terebent, his hair caught fast in the tree. He hung between heaven and earth, while the mule he had been riding ran off. Someone saw this and reported to Joab, that he had seen Absalom hanging from a terebinth, and taking three pikes in hand, he thrust for the heart of Absalom, still hanging from the tree alive. Now David was sitting between the two gates, and a lookout went up to the roof of the gate above the city wall, where he looked about and saw a man running all alone. The lookout shouted to inform the king, who said, If he is alone, he has good news to report. The king said, Step aside and remain in attendance here. So he stepped aside and remained there. When the Kushite messenger came in, he said, Let my lord, the king, receive the good news, that this day the lord has taken your part, freeing you from the grasp of all who rebelled against you. But the king asked the Kushite, Is young Absalom safe? The Kushite replied, May the enemies of my lord the king and all who rebel against you with evil intent be as that young man. The king was shaken and went up to the room over the city gate to weep. He said as he wept, My son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, if only I had died instead of you, Absalom, my son, my son. Joab was told that the king was weeping and mourning for Absalom, and that day's victory was turned into mourning for the whole army. When they heard that the king was grieving for his son, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me. For I am afflicted and poor. 
keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servants who trust in you. You are my God. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servants, for to you, O Lord, I left up my soul. Listen, Lord, and answer me. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Please stand. Christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come, lay your hands on her that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and the large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors, and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus, and came up behind him in the crowd, and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, you see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside, except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep and they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha koum, which means, Little girl, I say to you, arise. 
The girl, a child of 12, arose immediately and walked around. At that, they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Hindi ba kayo nagmamadali? Kapag kakiginanahan, okay lang ba sa inyo? Ang aking sermon ay 30 minutes. Introduction pa lang yun. Alam niyo po, first time ko magmisa ngayon sa basilikang ito bilang membro ng community convento ng Manawag. Exciting, pero kinakabahan din po dahil meron akong assignment dito. Mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, ang pagmamahal ay kailangan masubukan para malaman kung totoo o tunay. Ulitin ko, ang pagmamahal ay kailangan masubukan para malaman kung totoo o tunay. Sa totoo lang, hindi lang kailangan masubukan Minsan, ang pag-ibig, pagmamahal, kailangang masaktan. Tanungin mo yung katabi mo ngayon, nagmahal ka na ba? Pag sinabing oo, sabihan mo ulit, nasaktan ka, no? Kung sinabing hindi pa nagmahal at hindi nasaktan, sabihan mo, magmamahal ka rin, masasaktan ka rin. Alam niya ng mga taong nagmahal, kahit mga nag-boyfriend lang, nagmahal, Umasa, iniwan, nasaktan. Ang sakit. Para sa mga hindi tunay yung pagmamahal, pagkatapos na ilang araw, linggo, tapos na. Wala lang. Yung ibang tagal, hindi makamove on. Matindi. Kahit niloko, tunay ang pagmamahal. Nasubukan, nasaktan. Alam din yan ng mga na iniwan ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Yung mga husbands or wives sumakabilang bahay. Nasubukan, nasaktan. Pero patuloy nagmamahal. Alam niyo, may kaibigan ako. Iniwan siya ng kanyang husband. Pagkatapos ng maraming taon, siya nagpalaki sa mga anak niya. Nakatapos lahat-lahat. Yung kanyang husband, nagkasakit. Iniwan ng kabit. Bumalik sa kanya, ang husband niya. Tinanggap. Sabi ko din sa kaibigan ko, ano ka ba? Parang gusto kong sabihin, ang mo naman? T-A-N-G-A? -A. Anong sagot ng kaibigan ko? Naririnig natin to. Mahal ko eh. Asawa ko. Tunay na pagmamahal. O sa mga magulang dyan, alam niyo yan. Yung ating mga anak, inyo lang pala, wala po akong anak. Yung inyong mga anak, habang baby pa, ang cute-cute. Ang sarap kargahin, halikan, yakapin. Pwede mong sabihin, mahal na mahal ko ang anak ko. Pero pag na, lumaki na at nasubukan, naku, doon mo malalaban kung mahal mo pa nga ba. Habang lumalaki, lalo na kapag ka teenagers na, hindi na mautusan. Ang tamad-tamad. Malakas lang kumain. Lagi natutulog. Naglalaro. Dati, kapag ka tinignan mo, nilakyan mo ng mata, naiintindihan ka na. Ngayon, lalakyan mo ng mata, lalakyan ka rin ng mata. Luluwa na lang mata mo, hindi ka pa naiintindihan. Kapag ka nag-teenager, nagkaroon ng crush, boyfriend, girlfriend, hindi na umuwi ng bahay, hindi nagpapaalam, hindi nag-aaral, o hindi nakatapos sa pag-aaral, lumayas, nakabuntis, nabuntis, nagkaanak, mamahalin mo pa. Doon makikita ang tunay ng pagmamahal ng magulang. Kaya sasabihin na, ibaw ka na umuwi. Kapag ka bumagsak ka pa sa isang mo, huwag mo na akong tatawagin daddy ha. 
Kinabukasan yung anak. Tinanong, anak, kumusta exam mo? Sabi ng anak, okay lang Brad. Mahirap magpalaki. Kaya dito mga kapatid sa ating mga pagbasa, alimbawa sa una, unang pagbasa, si Absalom na anak ni David ay pinatay ng mga sundalo ni David. Ano nangyari? Kahapon na sa mga ibang pagbasa, pinakita na ito sa Absalom ay gustong maging hari. Imagine, anak mo, aagawan ka ng kaharian. Imagine, anak mo, hahabulin ka. Gustong patayin si, si David. Tumaka si David. Nagtago. Pero ganun pa man, si Absalom ay pinatay na mga sundalo ni David. Anong ginawa ni David? Umiyak. Absalom, my son. My son, Absalom. Kung ako na lang sana ang namatay, mahal pa rin ni David ang anak niya. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, meron dalawang kwento ng mga may sakit. Woman with hemorrhages for 12 years. Hindi binanggit may pamilya ba to, may kaibigan, may kapatid. Wala. Pero lumapit sa Panginoon, gustong gumaling. Tulad po natin. Hindi ko alam kung may umaasa sa kanya. Kung may mahal siya at nagbamahal sa kanya. Sure ako. Marami sa atin ang dito. Nagdadasal sa mahal na ina. Nagpapagaling, nagpapalakas para sa pamilya. Kaya nga kahit mahirap ang buhay, sasabihin natin, kailangan tumibay para sa pamilya, para sa mga anak ko. Nagmamahal, nagpapatibay, sinusubukan ng buhay. At yung ikalawang kwento, namatay yung bata, anak ni Jairus. Minsan sinasabi nila, ang dalawang kwentong ito sa Ebanghelyo ay kwento ng pagsubok ng pananampalataya. Mga kapatid, ang pagsubok ng pananampalataya ay hindi lang isyo ng pananampalataya para sa atin. Ito rin ay isyo ng pagmamahal ng Diyos para sa atin. Sapagat masusubukan ang tunay na pagmamahal natin sa Kanya sa pamamagitan ng pagsubok ng ating pananampalataya. Nasubukan na ba kayo? sa pananampalataya. Sa araw na ito, mga kapatid, first time you man o hindi sa basilikang ito. Alam ko marami tayong dinadala. Bit-bit natin ang problema. Sakit na mahal sa buhay. Walang pera, walang hanap buhay. Sinusubukan tayo. Bahagi ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Huwag tayong aatras. Sinusubukan tayo ng Diyos at subukan din natin ang Diyos dahil doon nakikita ang tunay na pagmamahal. Si Santa Teresa de Avila, minsan, sabi niya sa Panginoon, Lord, ang dami namang problema binigay niyo sa akin. Bakit ganito, Lord? Sabi ng Panginoong Yesus, ganun talaga kapag kakaibigan, kapag kakaibigan ko. Ang sabi ni Santa Teresa de Avila, kaya naman pala, Lord, ko konti lang kaibigan mo. That's why you have very few friends. Gusto ba natin maging kaibigan ng Panginoon? Harapin natin ang pagsubok. Sabihan natin yung katabi natin ngayon. Kapatid, nagmahal ka na ba? Masasaktan ka rin. Lord, ang sakit, hindi po ko aatras pagsubok sa tunay na pagbibig at pagmamahal. Let's tell the Lord today, try me, Lord. Test me, Lord. Challenge me, Lord. I'll show you what love is. Please only stand. Brothers and sisters, confident that when we pray with faith to God the Father, He will respond to our request 
with open-hearted generosity. We now bring our needs before Him as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by her care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may cooperate with those who are engaged in providing clean and healthy environments. Let us pray to the Lord. That doctors and nurses and those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the less of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That medical science may soon find cure for rare diseases which prevent those who suffer from them from living full and active life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who mourn the death of a child may be consoled by their faith in the gentle mercy of our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. And in silence, we offer to the Lord our other personal and communal intentions. Heavenly Father, help us to go on trusting in you and to have faith in the healing power of your Son, who binds up all our wounds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please, all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it and you. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew fault, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer his other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grants us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel as we pray the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver, Deliver us, us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver, Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. 
Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this hope to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa misang ito. Patuloy po natin pagdasal ang bawat isa, lalo na ang ating bansa. Malapit na po ang elections. Huwag po tayong magpapaloko. At isang special po na panyaya sa inyong lahat at dalangin na rin bukas po ay installation ng bagong Paris Priest ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Alas kwarto ng hapon, ang mag install ay si Archbishop Socrates Villegas. At ito po ang inyong abang lingkod ang magiging Paris Priest bukas po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We now have the prayers for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. He asks this through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the whole rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.